I want to start by saying Brakatha Yahawu, Brakatha Yaharashai, Brakatha Yahawu, Brakatha Yaharashai, Kohala Yahawa Bashim Yahashai, Kohala Yahawa Bashim Yahashai, Bashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone that taught me this doctrine and truth and sincerity. Shalom unto the elect. The Heavenly Father's name is Yahawu, which means He is or He exists. Bashim in the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. We know His name to be. Yahavashai, which means he is the deliverer, he is the savior for the Hebrew Israelites from the pedigree of your father. Ba'ashim in the name of the Rakah Kodash, which means the Holy Spirit that's able to give us the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of who we are, which are the true Hebrew Israelites. The so called Negro, so called Latino, so called Native American, or other speckled bird looking like the other nations in your spirit, bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh Ba'ashim and Rashai, then you could be one of the elect. Shalom. We've been discontinued from our heritage because we went all following after false gods and false idols, not following the law, such a commitments that was given to us by our forefathers. And because of those offenses, we were sent to captivity. But through our Lord, Yahweh HaMashiach, being that perfect sacrifice in the flesh to the Heavenly Father, he's been given all power to be able to sit on the right-hand side of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, to be able to open the seals of this book, to be able to give the understanding to the very elect, the ones that would be quickened with the understanding of the Holy Scriptures, and would be able to understand that we're in perilous times. And the Lord would send forth his truth through his men, which would be the prophets, the apostles and the prophets that would be on the highways and the byways, professing the judgment upon Babylon the Great. And in that, we would be seeing these prophecies being played out. Okay, and one of them is this right here. NATO boss attacks China over Russian ties. So what is this? These are wars or rumors of wars. Okay, these are... The fanner that um, in Jeremiah, Jeremiah 51, uh, the Lord spoke about, okay, the different fanners as far as the different uh, skirmishes. The Lord was stirring up these different kings to come up and fight against what? America. America is a part of the beast system where America spearheads the charge and NATO was joined unto it. NATO had, it started with 10 and now it's about 31 different countries that uh, worship the beast, okay, that follow um, the beast system. Okay, and their philosophies, which is the Roman Empire, that deadly wound being healed, which America, again, spearheads the charge and NATO is joined unto it. So when NATO is speaking, it's, it's, um, that's America speaking also, okay, because NATO was formed to be able to come against the USSR, okay, which is Russia today, which in the scriptures, Isaiah 13 and 17, where it speaks about the means, that's actually the Russians, okay, in Ezekiel 38 and 2, where it speaks about Magog, that's actually speaking about Russia. Okay, so when these things are happening, that's why you have to have the spiritual um, eyes out to be able to know what's going on, because people will bring out wars or rumors of wars. But who are the actual um, nations that would be fighting one against another? And it would be the top nations, America, OK, uh, against what Russia, OK, and Russia would be the Ryash of the different nations of the BRICS nations. And that's what you have. They're the biggest um nation that's coming up against america and they also have uh china south africa you know um india okay and six other nations and other nations that want to join because they don't want to be a part of america's system so what is happening is america's stronghold is being um you know exposed as far as esau edom is being made bare okay so nato boss attacks china over russia ties so jen's Stoudenberg has presented a new justification for the U.S. led bloc's pivot to Asia. Okay, because America doesn't have any uh, people that want to be a part of their team anymore. Okay, they're only gathering up basically uh, the replacements. Okay, the people that they, the different nations that they didn't want, that ultimately what's going to happen is because they joined the B system, they're going to get caught up in the destruction. Okay, where their bases or whatever uh, type of resources that they're being used for is going to be depleted. Okay, by what these different nuclear weapons, right? It says Beijing is enabling Moscow in the Ukraine conflict. NATO Security General Jen Salzberg has claimed, arguing that the U.S. led bloc has been involved in Asia and not just in North Atlantic. Okay. Stomberg's comments came during the question and answer panel to the NATO U Summit in response to inquiry from Yale University student in the U.S. Okay, uh, let's get to the point. This main country is enabling Russia to conduct its war aggressive against Ukraine and Europe. Okay, uh, Stomberg went on to argue that China is by far the biggest trading partner of Russia, supplying Moscow with 
critical components for missiles, drones, and other weapons. He also accused Iran of providing drones to Russia and North Korea to providing um, ammunition and weapons. Okay, so Russia is an ally to what Iran. Okay, and Iran and Israel are always Israel and the state are always beefing. So in that the Israel, okay, um, Israel and the state, the least of the fuck, shall draw out what America for everybody ultimately to come to fight at war. Okay, and also North Korea is against South Korea, okay, and South Korea is what aligned with what uh, America, okay, and North Korea is aligned with what Russia. That's why um, North Korea has the nuclear capability where they fired off three missiles, okay, and they were able to work because Russia's given them inside information on how to be able to work these missiles, okay. Um, Iran, North Korea, and China, they are a key for Russia's capability to fight against the European friend neighbor of NATO and referring to Ukraine. So this idea would could divide Asia from Europe doesn't work anymore. So Asia and Europe, they're the same thing. Okay. Asia is Europe. Europe goes back to a deity named Europa. Okay. And that land is actually all Asia going from China, parts of Russia, um, the whole um, Middle East, all that's um, Asia right there. Okay. The elder Malcolm has brought that out many times. <clears throat> okay. So they're, but the, what they're saying is, as far as their alliances, okay, um, they want, they, America has always had it their way, okay? So let's get a couple of scriptures on that. So they've had these strongholds on these people, okay, but now they don't have them no more, okay? The Lord is what? Weakening uh, America as far as a whole, okay? Their economy, their military, okay? Everything is being depleted. Why? Because they have strived against the Lord. Okay, making them unimportant uh, in the world as far as uh, trade and even with that sword. Okay, that sword has become weakened where these other heathen nations, now they are saying they are strong. Obadiah 1 and 2, Behold, I made thee small among the heathen, thou art greatly despised. Okay, that word small goes to unimportant, unsignificant. Okay, these different nations are not trading in the petrodollar anymore. They're coming with their own currency. Okay, which is a form of either a BRICS currency or the UN currency, which China has, or the ruble currency that uh, Russia has. Okay, either way, they're not trading in the, in the um, petrodollar, okay, which America controlled. They controlled the world currency. So in that, um, they were able to say, for instance, Saudi Arabia and Australia, they make a deal. America would be in the middle of that. Okay, and that's no more. And that's cutting out their money. Okay, that's why they're going to be going to what war. Okay. Uh, skipping down, this is Obadiah 1 and 7. It says, all your allies will turn against you. So all the people that were confederate with what um, the ways of America, because even China, they were like like the guy said, they're the import-export of certain things. Okay, they are, they're able, because of their labor laws, where they just, where they have children basically building stuff, Okay, they're able to have uh, cheap labor that to able to send out to these other countries, and that's that's what America has done, where they took in all their, um, you know, factories out, and then basically given all their business to China, and that has weakened them, okay, because of their lust of of having some uh, money, okay. Um, all your allies will turn against you. They will help to chase you from your land. They will promise you peace while plotting to deceive you and destroy you. Your trusted friends will set traps for you and you won't even know about it. And that's what's happening right now. These traps and these uh, ploys are being set up. Okay. And what shameful spewing is upon their glory. Okay. And so what are they doing? They're trying to um, speak out against uh, these other, you know, ch what China's doing. Uh, what different countries are doing, but look at what America's doing. They're living like a third world country. Meanwhile, they're supposed to be the number one country in the world, the beacon of light, okay, where well, there's nothing but a, 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 haunted, a haunted concrete jungle, okay? Habakkuk 2 and 15, woe, which means destruction unto them that give his neighbor drink, that put his that bottle to him, that makes him drunken also, that mayest look on their nakedness, okay? All this, you know, do as thy will, spirit, um, you know, you can be able to be whoever you want here in America. And a lot of these other countries, they're against that. They're against the man on man, woman on woman. They're against transformer, uh, being a transformer. They're against these certain things. So they are what calling out America for their, uh, lack of moral values. Okay. Because there is a moral rot here in America.
Proverbs 20, 28 and 2 in the NLT. When there is a moral rot within a nation, its government topples easily. But the wise and knowledgeable leaders bring stability. And who are those wise and knowledgeable uh, leaders? Those would be the, the hopeful elect, the ones that have this knowledge, wisdom, understanding. But this government of, of America is what crumbling. And government means mind control. Okay, they are trying to control the people um, through what their illusions and to the, through their deceptions. And ultimately, that's leading to what? World War Three. Okay, it says Habakkuk 2 and 16, Thou art filled with shame for glory. Drink thou also, let thy foreskin be uncovered. The cup of Yahweh's right hand shall be turned unto thee, and shameful spewing shall be on thy glory. So shameful spewing is on that glory because what? These different nations don't even want to deal with America anymore because they know the things that America has done. That they've gone throughout the earth and they've ruled it with a continual stroke. Okay, so now they're thinking that they got next. Okay, going into um, speaking about Asia, right? <clears throat> and again, that's that whole, that's a lot of that landmass. I've done um, a lot of videos about it. But if you just type in Asia as far as the actual continent, you're going to see that it's actually a lot bigger than you think. It's not just China. You know, when you first hear it, you might just think, oh, it's just China. Okay, but it's not. It's a lot. Of, it's Middle East. It's parts of Russia, parts of, I believe, Africa. Okay, a lot of that land mass over there. Okay, but what has this devil done? They changed the names, okay, to their liking. Okay, and that word uh, Europe goes back to Europa, which was is, which is a deity. Okay, an idol. Uh, what is that? Second Ezra 15. Yeah, right here. Second Ezra 15. In 46, and thou, O Asia, are a partaker of the hope of Babylon and are a glory of her person. So they are a partaker in the ways that America is going because they're still doing trade deals. Now, they might be, um, you know, say, you know, they might be shortening, you know, as far as some supplies that are coming to America. OK, but, but best believe they are about what Babylon's about, which is what? Oppressing the so-called Negroes, so-called Negroes, so-called Latinos, so-called Native Americans having you under your lock and chain, and they all want the mark of the beast, okay? So thou, Asia, are a partaker of the hope of Babylon, okay? So Asia would be that that part of China and other parts of the world. They want to be just like America, okay, which is Babylon the Great, okay? And our glory of our person, woe, which means destruction, be unto thou, thy wretch, and a wretch is a despicable person, okay? That's exactly what America is, and that's what that strong cup is, their philosophies, people drinking of it, man on man, woman on woman, transformer, and it all leads to death. Okay, well be unto thou thy wretch, yeah, the despicable person telling you something that's, um, you know, something's good when it's not. Okay, thou wretch, because thou hast made thyself like unto her. Who's that whore, that great whore? Okay, that these different nations have fornicated with, right? Revelation 17 and 2. With whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. Okay? So the kings of the earth. So nowadays you have prime ministers, you have uh, presidents and things like that. But basically the world leaders of this world have fornicated with America in some form of way. Because that's the only way they could be able to, uh, you know, basically stay afloat. Okay, that's why in Isaiah 14, it speaks about the um, the dead, okay, because they weren't able to do nothing unless America uh, sanctioned it, okay, or allowed it, right? Second Ezra 15 and 47, woe be unto thou thy wretch, because thou hast made thyself like unto her. And that's why China's doing these different deals with Russia, because they think that they, they're going to be able to have their new one order, okay, that they're going to have control. That's why China is, is also what, leading the charge. They're already locking their people up, basically. Uh, for uh, saying any, anything against the government. They already have FEMA camps, okay? Um, they have a, a social credit score that if you say anything against the government, then you are not able to travel on trains and, and do certain uh, dainties or luxuries that you normally would do, okay? Then they have the, the shame, uh, you know, as far as, uh, you know, the different, uh, what is that called? The different, basically, TV screens, projectors in the streets, showing the criminals which the, the criminals are just people that either jaywalked or, or they didn't agree with something the president said so they're being shamed okay so that's that's what america wants to do okay they want to be just like that control everything that's why they're taking away free speech and telling you that you can't have the bible and calling it extremists calling it radicalists and forming certain legislations 
okay, which China is leading the charge because they want to be just like America. They want everybody to be in a, in a constant uh, delusion uh, that everything is all right when it's not, okay? Woe be unto thou, thy wretch, because thou hast made thyself like unto her and hast decked thy daughters in whoredom, and that they might please and glory in thy lovers, which have always desired to give me a whoredom with thee. Yeah, because these are lovers. Because again, the whore is America, okay? And these different Johns, basically, they keep coming to deal with this whore. Oh, you got that? You, you know, she always does it right. That's America, okay? As far as um, the different fornications, when you read Psalms 50, how, you know, committing adultery with thee, these different nations, okay, constantly um, being fed together. And that makes them what these these different, um, these lovers, which goes into, uh, though hand joined in hand, they shall not go unpunished, okay? So glory in thy lovers, which always could desire to commit hoarding with thee. Thou hast followed her that is hated in all thy works and inventions. Therefore said thy power. So all thy inventions, which is the mark of the beast. Okay, they have the same uh, uh, sentiment. Okay, in fact, a lot of those uh, people that are in control of China, okay, are actually Edomites. Okay, they might look like Chinese, you know, look like the so called Mobites, but a lot of them are actually Edomites. Okay, because uh, Great Britain took over uh, China, they still own a lot of parts of China. Okay, uh, second Ezra's, uh, and the guy's name was uh, Jacob, Jacob um, Schiff. I believe his name is Jacob Schiff, where he basically lended money to uh, um, Maya or Mao, that was one of the leaders of, of China, okay, to be able to have that great famine. If you look up the Great Leap Forward, okay, you'll see um, the guy, the leader, okay, where basically he starved out millions or you know, thousands of his own people, okay. So this is the, the person that we're uh, dealing with today, okay? The same people are back again that are in rulership, that, that don't care uh, who starves as long as they're able to have power, okay? And that's starting with Esau Edom. Second Ezra 15 to 49, I will send plagues upon thee, widowhood, poverty, famine, sword, and pestilence to waste the houses and destruction and death. And that's what the Lord's going to send upon those different nations, okay? The, the, the whole earth is not going to be hit with nuclear fire. Okay, but there's not going to be no people just going to the store, okay, or people going for safety, okay, because all people are going to be what, uh, basically, are just, the only people that are going to be able to be saved is the elect, okay, or well, the rest of the people are going to be what put out. Um, the only ones that are going to be able to be saved is what the 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 um, the elite of Esau Edom, the ones that be in the bunkers because they're going to be the first crops of slaves, right. <sighs> So do you see then, and also, let me get another scripture. And what? There's 9 billion people in the world. Okay, that's why I spoke about it right here. This is Second Ezra 5 and 1. Nonetheless, it's the coming of tokens. Yeah, so which are the signs and the prophecies, right? The whole that they shall come, that which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in great number. And the way of truth shall be hidden, and the land shall be barren of faith. But iniquity shall be increased above all which thou seest, or thou hast heard long ago. And the land thou seest now to have root, thou shalt see wasted suddenly. Yeah, that's why those ICBM missiles, okay, as far as Babylon the Great. The whole earth is not going to be destroyed, but Babylon the Great is, okay. Um, it's going to be a what? A great lake of fire from these different nations, what? Shooting off these different missiles, <laughs> okay. So America, this is their, basically, in this article, this is their last ditch effort to, you know, try to say something, to ha try to have some authority Okay, but they've been spoiled. Okay. And so I want to get this other article. Where this guy, Lindsey Graham, okay, which is one of the senators over here in America. This is what he says. U.S. Senator urges Israel to bomb Gaza like Hiroshima. Okay. Lindsey Graham has told West Jerusalem to do whatever it takes to annihilate Hamas. Okay. So West Jerusalem is what now... Inhabited by what? Um, these devils. Okay. Um, they have our land. Okay. And they are in our land. And what are they doing? They're defiling the land. And what is the Lord doing? He's what? Bringing havoc over there. Okay. Ezekiel 36 and 2. Thus said that Lord that power because the enemy has said against you. Aha. Even the ancient high places are ours in possession. Okay. So they are in that land. But our whole land is actually from um, the river. Uh, the Nile River in Egypt. 
okay, all the way over to Euphrates. That's actually the land that was promised to us by our forefathers, okay, by the by the heavenly Father Yahweh, okay. But they but they are in that land and they are saying that they are uh, the people, okay, which they are what the synagogue is saying, okay. But they are in those ancient high places, as far as part of it, okay. Ezekiel thirty six and five, and this is what the Lord says. It says, therefore, thus said the Lord, thy power, surely in my fire, my jealousy, I have spoken against thee, the residue of the heathen and against all Idumean. So Idumean, that's in the Greek, which means um, red, OK, which means Edom, OK, in the Hebrew or Sakia, um, uh, Edom, OK, in the English, OK, which means red going into um, we're supposed to prophesy against Mount Edom or Mount Seir, OK, which is. <clears throat> let me get the scripture. Genesis 36 and 4. Genesis 36 and 8. Thou dwell Esau in Mount, Mount Seir. Esau is Edom. Okay, so that's the so-called white men that's today. So Mount Seir is everywhere where they pitch their tent. And, and Edom is the, is the so-called white man. And Esau means wasted away he is. Okay, and that goes into their pigmentation. And we're supposed to prophesy against them. They're, those are the small heads that are in that land. Okay, they are the head tribe of, of Esau, Edom, okay, which is Amalek. Okay, those small hats, Israel, the state, those are not the true people of the Bible. That's why you see all this chaos. Okay, Ezekiel 36 and 5. Therefore, thus said the Lord, thy power, surely in the fire of my jealousy, I have spoken against the residue of the heathen, against all Idumean, which had appointed my land into the possession with the joy of their heart, with despiteful minds to cast out for a prey. And that's exactly what they've done. That's why they have Purple City. Okay. That's why they have, uh, um, you know, Krizlam. Okay. Because those are not the people. Right. And they have put themselves in that land. They weren't brought to that land. Right. Let's read this in the NOT. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. My jealous anger burns against these nations, especially Edom. Okay. Psalms 83. Because thou hast shown utter contempt for me. By gleeful taking my land for themselves as plunder. And that's what they have done. Okay, so in that, the Lord's going to send a great fire upon that land. Okay, when you read, what is that? Uh, 38, Ezekiel 38 and 18. Ezekiel 38 and 18. Right here in 18, it says, and it shall come to pass at the same time when God, and that's speaking about Russia, they're in that land right now, shall come up against the land of Israel because eventually um, the least of the flock shall draw them out. The least of the flock being the least of the Edomite nations, which is Israel, the state Amalek, is going to draw out uh, these different nations to come up and fight because God, which is Russia, is backed by Iran, okay, or vice versa, okay, and Russia being the leader, they're going to end up... Um, you know, covering what I read, and that's going to lead to Russia and America um, aligning, or not aligning, but coming up against each other, okay? Ezekiel 38 and 18, it shall come to pass at the same time when God shall come against the land of Israel and send the Lord thy power, thy fury shall come up on my face. From my jealousy and my fire and my wrath, I have spoken surely in that day shall be great shaking in the land of Israel. So that the fishes of the sea and the fowls of the heaven and the beasts of the field and all the creepy things that creep upon the earth, all the men that shall upon their face earth shall shake at my pleasure and the mountains shall be thrown down and the steep places shall fall and every wall shall fall to the ground. I will call for a sword against him throughout all the mountains of the Lord thy power. Every man's sword shall be against his brother. I will plead against him with pestilence and with blood. I will rain upon him upon his bands. Okay, the military that they have, right? Um their army and upon many people that are with them yeah so all the all the nations that are against um you know against the lord they're going to also come up and fight okay and they're going to be broken right that are with them in overflowing rain and great hailstorms and fire and brimstone yeah because the lord is bringing forth these uh these military nuclear weapons this is the lord's armory okay um yeah, so hailstones, fire, and brimstone. Let's read this in NOT. I will punish you and your armies with, with disease and bloodshed. I will send torrential rainstorms, fire, and burning of sulfur. So it doesn't sound like the Lord's coming with everything's going to be all right, singing kumbaya, you know, coming with the picnic basket. It says, I will punish you, 
Okay, you wicked devils, right? Let me let me read this. Start from twenty one. I will summon the sword against you in the hills of Israel. Okay, that's speaking about those people over there. So uh, this guy uh, Lindsey Graham, right? He doesn't understand prophecy, and that uh, what he's speaking about, he really doesn't want because this is going to come to his doorstep. It says, uh, let me read a little bit of this, and I'll go back to that. It says, Israel must do whatever it needs to be done to win its ex uh, existential uh, war with Hamas, just like the U.S. was justified to drop nuclear bombs on Japanese cities of Hiroshima, Nagasaki, World War II. Okay, the Israeli military is facing increasing international scrutiny as its military operation in Gaza enters eighth month, claiming that the lives of more than 34,000 Palestinians. So that's how many people they've killed. 34,000 people, right? Uh, the Hamas is to blame. The bulk of the civilian casualties urged Israel to continue in fighting into a decisive victory as achieved, no matter the cost. All right, so that's what I wanted to get was, uh, I'll go back to that. But the, the reason why they, America was so uh, strong because the Lord was, you know, guiding America to be that stronghold, but also because of the nuclear fire that they, um, you know, sent on uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki, okay, in Japan, right? Yeah, right here. So, Revelation 13 and 13, And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. So when that fire came down on those different uh, uh, Japan, uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki in Japan, Right, that brought that in other places that brought. Uh, I believe it was sixty nine other uh, countries or other cities that were also hit. Okay, because I recently just did a video about that, and uh, <clears throat> and what, that brought a great fear. Even right now, those those they those uh, uh, cities are still destroyed from the radiation. Okay, and he doeth great that brought great fear upon the nations. Right, and he doeth great wonders. Okay, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on earth in the sight of men. So all the nations have seen it, just like all the nations are going to see the, the downfall of America and how Americans uh, took it down. Revelation 13 and 13, the NLT, he did astounding miracles. Okay, who did the, the beast system? Okay, that, that deadly wound that was uh, healed. Okay, right, which is uh, the second leg of the Roman Empire. America spearheading the charge and NATO joined unto it. He did astounding miracles, even making fire flash down to earth from the sky while everyone was watching. And with those miracles, he was allowed to perform on behalf of the first beast, okay, speaking about Rome, or, you know, ancient Rome, right? He deceived all the people who belonged to this world, who ordered the people to make a great statue of the first beast who was fatally wounded and then came back to life. Yeah, then came back to life. And that's, again, America spearheading the charge and NATO joined unto it, okay? Revelation 20 and 7, and then a thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosened out of his prison. So he was loosened out of his prison as far as that lowest state and brought into power uh, to be able to deceive the nations with the Renaissance art, which is the rebirth of the Roman Empire, iconoclasm, uh, covering the faces, uh, covering up the dark images, putting forth their pale face images, right? And Satan means adverse. They are adverse to what? To the Holy Scriptures, okay? Shall be loosened out of prison and shall go out to deceive the nations. And that's what they have done, okay? Which on the four corners of the earth, Gog and Magog, which uh, Gog is Magog from the land of uh, Gog, right? And that's Russia, right? To gather them together to battle the number of whom in the sand of the sea. And that's what you see going on. They're being gathered together. Okay, uh, like this guy uh, just said, so to drop nuclear bombs on the Japanese city, so that's in the scriptures, right? Revelation 13, as I just read. Okay, and but this time is going to be a different state. Okay, far as they're not, they're going to be able to let off their missiles. Okay, but they're going to be took it down. America is going to be that great lake of fire. Right, Let's see. All right, so let's go back to that. This is Ezekiel. And this is why the Lord is going to be justified in bringing great fire because of what they are coming against the Lord. Okay, they're coming against the Lord's people, but actually they're fulfilling prophecy, right? Uh, let's see, Revelation. I'm going to come back to that. This is Jeremiah 51 and 7. 
Jer Jeremiah 51 and 7, Babylon have been a golden cup in Yahweh's hand that made the earth drunken. The nations have drunken over wine, therefore the nations are mad. So these nations are now mad, okay, and they're what? They're, they're um, aligning together to come up against America, right? This is Jeremiah 50 and 40. Jeremiah 50 and 40. It says, As our power overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah, right, let's see. Yeah, right here. It says, As our power overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah, and how was Sodom and Gomorrah overthrown? By what? Uh, fire and brimstone, right? And the neighbor cities, yeah, so there was actually five cities altogether, right? There, thereof said Yahweh, so shall no man abide there, neither shall any son of man dwell therein. Because that's what's going to happen in America. There's going to be, no one's going to be able to dwell in uh, Babylon the Great. Behold, a people shall come from the north, a great nation. Many kings shall be raised up from the coast of the earth. So a great nation from what? The north. Okay, that's speaking about, speaking about Russia. Shall be raised up from the coast of the earth. So all the, you know, China, uh, North Korea, okay, Iran, Mexico, okay, uh, UAE. Okay, uh, uh, South Africa, India, these nations, these different kings are what being raised up from the coast of the earth to do what? Thou shalt hold thy bow and thy lance. Okay, and a bow is is um, the different silos of the missiles, the nuclear weapons, and the spear would be the arrow. You know, basically the um, the ICBM missile. Okay, firing off, and then the different uh, ten to twenty five different uh, warheads that can be inside um, each each missile, right? And they travel the speed of light, and they're 220,000 pounds, okay, traveling the speed of light. They are cruel, that's right, and will not show mercy. Yeah, they're not going to show mercy. Why? Because the Lord is controlling them, so they're going to hit the target. That's why it speaks about Deuteronomy 32 and 39 on down. It speaks about the, the blood of the arrow shall be junk, you know, shall be wet with blood, roughly paraphrasing, right? And will not show mercy. The voice shall roar like the sea. They shall ride, yeah, they shall roar, because when these things shoot off, they're, they're very loud, right? The voice shall roar like the sea, and they shall ride upon the horses. The horses going into how fast they are. They're able to travel the speed of light, okay? The same, too, is able to come uh, from Russia to America in 29 minutes, okay? And they can destroy the size of Texas, okay? And they shall ride upon horses, every one put in array like a man to battle against thee, O daughter of Babylon. And a daughter comes after you. So that's how we know this is also speaking about uh, Babylon the Great, okay, which is America today. It's not speaking about ancient Babylon. It's speaking about the virgin daughter of Babylon, right, which is America today. It says, the king of Babylon had heard the report of them, and their hands waxed feeble, anguish to took hold of him, and pangs as a woman in travail. Because America knows that they can't take hold of, of Russia and China. That's why they're trying to throw out certain things about certain places. Meanwhile, they're still uh, throw, they're still making deals with China. They're still making deals with Russia. Okay, but then they're saying these are the most wicked people. Okay, when they're when there's no honor amongst these, right? It says um, uh, skipping down to forty five. It says therefore hear ye the counsel of Yahweh. That he had taken against Babylon and proposes have proposed against the land of the Chaldeans. So the Lord is against um, the Babylon the Great, okay, and his wicked enchantments. He proposes that he propose socket. He proposes that he had proposed against the land of the Chaldeans. Surely the least of the flock. So the least of the flock is speaking about uh, Israel, the state. Okay, they are the least of the Edomite nations. That's going to draw out what America to come up and fight because. Uh, Israel, the state, is the pimp of what this great whore of America, okay? Surely the least of the flock, so surely the least of what? Um, of Israel, the state, shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitation desolate with them. Yeah, because I just read in Ezekiel 38 what's going to happen over there, okay? It says, at the noise of the taking of Babylon, the earth is moved and the cry is heard among the nations. Yeah, because they're not going to be able to uh, make any money either. They're not going to be able to... Um, you know, keep engaging in the in the wickedness, okay? And even with their rulership, they're not going to be able to do anything. Revelation 18 and 9, And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication live deliciously with her. She, she by whale, suck it, shall bewail her and laminate for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning. Stand afar off in the fear of her turmoil, saying, At last, at last, that great city of Babylon, that mighty city, for one hour is the judgment come. 
yeah, where the Lord's going to put out the light of what America? Revelation 18 and 23. It says, And the light of the candle shall shine no more at thee, and the voice of the bridegroom and the bride shall be heard no more at and all at thee. For the merchants, this is for the merchants were of the great of the earth, for by the sources were all the nations deceived. And so they were deceived, okay, but they're still going to weep and wail because they wanted to be just like the whore. Just like China and all these different nations, they want to be like America, okay? But when they see the destruction of America, they're going to understand what happens when you strive against the Lord, okay? Judgment. This is uh, Jeremiah 51 and 28, and I'll end it in here. Jeremiah 51 and 28. Prepare prepare against her, Saki, prepare against her the nations with the king of the Medes. So the king of the Medes is speaking about Russia today. They're in that land, right? The captains thereof and all the rulers thereof, all the land of dominion. So all these different nations, okay, aligning. Uh, Xi Jinping, okay, um, King jong Hun, okay, um, you know, uh, Aragon, the guy from Turkey, okay, Macaron, because these certain, these certain NATO nations don't want to be a part of America either. So they're going to be a part of Revelation 17 and 16 speaks about that. 29. And the land shall tremble. How, why is the land going to tremble? Because of the icy missiles, the earthquakes, right? And the land shall tremble and sorrow for every purpose of Yahweh shall be performed against Babylon to make the land of Babylon desolation without inhabitants, okay? The mighty men of Babylon have forborn to fight. They have, and that word forborn means flabby. They become lazy because they haven't been actually fighting wars. They've just been going over there and dominating, rape, rape, robbing, pillaging, and then leaving the land. Okay, but this war, they're going to actually be fighting against real, uh, real, real warriors as far as hand to hand combat. But really, it's going to be nuclear weapons. Okay, that's why they're going to be afraid because they, they, know, they know that they got no shot. They have remained in their holds. They might have failed. They become as women. They have burned their dwelling places and bars are broken. Yeah, so you're actually going to have women on the front line. You're going to have big Shirley's because they have the draft coming back. You're going to have transformers. Okay, this is. One pole shall run to meet another, and one messenger meet another to show the king of Babylon that his city is taken at one end. Yeah, because America is all the way over there in the Middle East, and what? Amer and America is being left, where they're going to be hit with missiles also. And that the passengers are stopped, okay? The passages are stopped, and the reeds that have burned with fire, and the men were affrighted. Yeah, their army is in panic, okay, because they're not able to uh, get away to safety. It's a danger because what? It's what they're circling. Um, uh, the, the different nations are circling America. Okay, let me highlight that. That's a good scripture. This is, let me read this again. All, this is all the escape routes are blocked. The marshes have been set aflame and army is in panic. This is what the Lord of heaven of armies, that power of Israel says. Babylon is like a wheat threshing floor about to be trampled in just a little while. Her harvest will begin. Yeah, going into uh, the Lord's coming with that sickle. Okay, coming to what? Reap up the harvest. And so it's going to be as what? A, a threshing a threshing floor. Let me get that. I'll end it right there. This is Joel 3 and what? 15. Joel 3, yep, it says, Joel 3 and 13, put ye a sickle for the harvest is ripe, come get you down for the press is full, the fats overflow for the wickedness is great, multitudes and multitudes in the valley of decision for ye, for the day of Yahweh is near the valley of decision, Yahweh Shabbat, the sun and the moon shall be darkened and the stars shall shall withdraw the shining the lord yahweh also shall roar out of the zion and utter his voice from jerusalem and the heavens and the earth shall shake but yahweh will be the hope of his people and the strength of his children israel yeah the lord's going to be our strength he's going to save his elect when all these things are happening so with that call out yahweh